Hey guys, spend the day with me and Atlanta. I have a lot of errands to run today, and the first thing on my list is check out Salon Suites. So I went over to Phoenix Salon Suites to check out their options. I love options, and I think I also want to be in Atlanta for two months. And while I'm here, I definitely want to be able to work, and Phoenix Salon is the perfect place for me. Right after I was done at Phoenix Salon, I went over to Loa Atlanta to meet my friend and it was cute. Rooftop vibe in Atlanta, new, aesthetically pleasing, but why was my tacos $48? Please stop it, Atlanta. It was not that cute, but I get the vibe. Right after I was done paying this ridiculous ass bill, I met my boo over at Cheetah and we actually ate and had a great time. This is one of my favorite spots and I always recommend going here with your guy is such a vibe. Cheers. Welcome back to Life with Cam. It's been a minute, y'all, but I started my day off with a nice long hot shower. And then I headed to the office to do some light work, nothing too major. I unboxed my brown trucker hats and restocked them on my website, and then I created this lock screen for my iPad using Canva and Pinterest. Next, I played around with Procreate to make these beanie mock-ups that I plan to drop in January. After that, I went to the post office to ship my last few packages before the holidays, and then I went to my Airbnb to do some restock. I restocked the snack bar and added toiletries to the bathroom, and then came home and did some light cleaning. I washed some dishes, cleaned the stove off real good, and I even had some energy to scrub my cabinets down. I decided to cook for Christmas at the last minute, so we went to Albertsons to grab some ingredients for gumbo. While we were out, I realized that I didn't get my dog nothing for Christmas, so I had to make a quick trip to Petco and get my boy some stuff. Kenzo was my baby before I had a baby. He didn't been through life with me. I do not play about him. After Petco, we went to Chili's for the cheap holiday drink, 10 out of 10, but the food, mm, super mid. When we got home, I tried to make Kalan a print ornament like last year, but it was a fail, so we just went to go see Christmas lights instead. When we got back home, it was pretty much time for her to go to bed, so I ran her a warm bath and got her pajamas out. After bath time, we brushed our teeth and washed our face. Then I had a full circle moment, like the daughter that I prayed for is right here, and she kind of looked like me. After that, I made the J-Nice s'mores dip, and I don't really even do sweets, but this was good, 10 out of 10. We ended our night watching Princess and the Frog. So today we had a really fun and chill family day at the National Harbor of Maryland. Our parents were in town and we only live 30 minutes from here. We've never been yet, so we thought, why not? Our parents have a pretty nice timeshare at the Club Wyndham. We had a whole kitchen, two bedrooms, three beds. It was real nice. Had a nice big balcony with this beautiful view of the harbor and MGM. Then we walked over to Succotash for some dinner. Personally, the food was okay to me. I like a little more flavor in my food, but um, yeah, it was cute in there. So we just had dinner, walked around. Of course, Zara finessed her papa into getting her a Build-A-Bear. Then Zara saw the Ferris wheel and she really wanted to go get on that. So of course, papa went and got everybody tickets and we went on the Ferris wheel. One thing we did not know was that this thing keeps you on there for like 15 minutes. So we went around this thing like three times and we're like, okay, are we stuck? Did they forget about us? <laughs> but the views were so pretty from up there. One thing about me, I love me some views, so I was really just taking it all in. Then, of course, y'all's niece wanted some ice cream. But the harbor was cute. They had a live Zumba class going on. We also went to a place called the Furlough Cheesecake. They're supposed to have the best cheesecakes. Personally, I like mine a little bit sweeter, but it is really good for those who don't like it too sweet. After that, me and my husband wanted to go for a little night swim in the jacuzzi. Because, you know, when the grandparents are here, it ain't our kid no more. After that, we were like, why not go watch a movie while they have her? We watched Nope and had the whole theater to ourselves. It was so nice.
Welcome back to a week in the life of a corporate baddie in tech. I went to Vegas for Memorial Day weekend, so I had a lot of services to get done. First were nails, they came out so cute. I had some packages come in of stuff I needed for my trip. I desperately needed my brows and hair done, so I got a little work done during my appointment. After being up all night redoing my hair, I caught an early flight to Vegas Friday morning. We stayed at the Venetian Hotel. Everything is so cute and Italian themed. I immediately went to get a drink and then got ready for the night. We got dinner at Javier's in the Aria. I got the braised short rib and a fire guava cocktail. The next day we went to Dre's. I wore my super cute VBS swimsuit. Meek performed and the costume goes. Definitely had us on demon time. The next day we went to Daylight. It's my bestie. She's so cute. We met some people having an after move, so we went back and got in their hot tub. The next day our chill brunch turned into a lit brunch. My friends told the entire restaurant I was getting married, so they brought me a cake. After that we went to Tao, but we didn't love the music. Probably the DJ. On the last day, we went to our hotel pool and got some drinks at the bar. And this was the only day I wasn't drunk, so I took some super cute pictures. I'm telling you that there ain't no other way. Pack your bags and then you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. 